The member for Algoma, Manitoulin. Thank you, Speaker. It's not only Sunday today, it's Decoration Day. And Decoration Day is celebrated to recognize and honour veterans. Its origin started a form of protest on June 2, 1890. At that time, veterans of the Battle of Ridgeway, a battle in which nine people lost their lives, united together after the government overlooked their hard work and success in protecting the country and its citizens during the Fenian War raids. The following year, approximately 80,000 individuals were present for the celebration and parade. Decoration Day may seem overshadowed by Remembrance Day. However, I think we can all agree that there can never be too many days dedicated to remembering and honoring those who help protect our rights, safety, and freedom. As we take a moment to decorate cenotaphs, memorials, and the resting places of those who are no longer with us, we recognize the triumph and hardships, the grief and the victories. As we do so, we are also reminding that their realities are still the lived experience of many around the world today. Thanks to them, this is not a reality we are subjected to, to growing up. Thanks to them, Canadians are able to focus on peacekeeping missions worldwide in the hopes that these realities can become past history for everyone. It is days like this that allow us to restore the memories, respect, and impact of those who gave the ultimate sacrifice. It is days like this that help us remember the lifelong physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual scars that so many had to carry. And it is days like this that ensures that the generations that followed them learn the past while building the future. Thanks to their bravery, many of us will never have to face combat or live in a country that still experiences realities. Additionally, those who do choose to serve can do knowing their stories and their impacts in ensuring our privilege and rights today. We will remember it. We will remember them. And on that note, Speaker, I would like to request a unanimous consent in order to have a moment of silence recognizing Decoration Day. Member for Algoma, Manitoulin, is seeking the unanimous consent of the House to have a moment of silence in recognition of Decoration Day. Agreed? Agreed. 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 Merci, M. le Président. J'aimerais commencer par offrir mes excuses au corps de cadets 2910 du 2e bataillon du régiment irlandais de l'Armée royale canadienne qui m'avait invité à leur inspection annuelle. J'offre également mes excuses au lieutenant-colonel Thomas McNeil, qui est l'officier de contrôle pour la 46e inspection annuelle du corps de cadets euh, du 2e bataillon euh, du régiment irlandais à, à Capriole. Aujourd'hui, on devait être dans nos comtés et disponible pour participer à ces importantes manifestations et participer à la journée de la décoration au Canada. Une journée où des douzaines de personnes au travers de Nico Belt et vraiment au travers de toute la province vont remercier nos vétérans en mettant des fleurs sur la tombe. Euh, C'est une belle cérémonie. Il faisait beau, il faisait chaud euh, dans le Nico Belt. Euh, ça aurait été une belle journée euh, pour remercier nos vétérans de tout ce qu'est-ce qu'ils nous ont donné, euh, des libertés qui nous définissent comme ontariennes, comme ontariens, comme canadiens, comme canadiennes. Euh, mais euh, j'aurais également bien aimé euh, que le gouvernement honore et respecte suffisamment nos vétérans pour organiser leur horaire de façon à ce qu'on n'ait pas à venir à Queen's Park en fin de semaine et qu'on puisse être dans nos comtés pour honorer nos vétérans. Um, I'd like to uh, apologize to the uh, uh, 29th, 15th, 2nd Battalion uh, Irish Regiments of Canada for not being there today with them. Uh, I'd like to apologize also to Lef Lieutenant Colonel Thomas McNeil, who was the reviewing officer, to not be there with him. Uh, the ceremony is supposed to start at 2 this afternoon. Obviously, I won't be there. I will be here. Uh, today is Decoration Day, a day that we should all respect. And I'm truly sorry that the government uh, called us here and that I'm not able to be in my riding and to honor the veteran, including my father, who is a veteran of three wars. Thank you, Speaker. 